Switch gears are broadly classified as the high voltage switch gear, medium voltage switch gear and the low voltage switch gear. In this video, we are going to focus on the low voltage switch gear. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Now low voltage switch gear is one of the most demanded video on the channel. So there were tons of comments on the previous video and that is the reason why here is the on demand video on the low voltage switch gear now before we start understanding the basics of low voltage switch gear let us first understand where do we need the low voltage switch gear so on your screen what you can see is a single line diagram of a power system so here we have the generation here we have the primary transmission and the secondary transmission this is where we need the hv switch gears right then moving on we have primary distribution wherein we need the medium voltage uh, switch gear now we have already talked about the high voltage and medium voltage switch gear in the previous video i'll provide link for those videos down in the description you can go and check it out after this video now after the primary distribution there is the secondary distribution wherein we need the lv switch gears right and anything that is lower than 1000 volts is basically categorized as a low voltage switch gear and in this video we are going to talk about these low voltage switch gear please note of course the switches that we use in our house or the mcbs and the breakers fuses those are also the type of low voltage switch gear but we are not going to talk about that what we are going to mainly focus on in this video is the low voltage switch gear panels like what you can see on your screen right so let us start with that so imagine i have a residential area there are a couple of buildings there uh, building one building two and three like that now uh, to power that buildings i have received a uh, uh, power from the utility which is at 415 volts ac right now can i give this power directly to my building and start fedding the load that i have no of course not i need some means which can control my power which can switch it on switch it off and also it will provide me the protection in case of fault plus i also need to measure my current measure the voltage that is incoming so definitely i cannot directly give this supply to the different residential towers that i have so what i have done instead of that i have connected this supply to a low voltage switch gear panel what you can see on your screen now this low voltage switch gear panel will have all the necessary things that I need. It will have the main circuit breaker which will help me in switching on and switching off the supply in normal as well as abnormal condition plus it will have a current transformer which will measure current voltage transformer which will measure voltage plus there will be some control circuitry uh, relays and all. So everything is there. So this panel is necessary to supply the load to my buildings, right? So this is what I can call is as the main distribution board, right? This is one of the metal enclosed switch gear. Basically, it will have all the things that is required. So here, let me give you one example. So what you can see is the example of a low voltage switch gear panel at the bottom. You can see a circuit breaker. Now, the difference between the medium voltage and the low voltage switch gear is that the circuit breaker used here is air circuit breaker or ACB medium voltage most commonly you will find a vacuum circuit breaker and in some cases SF6 circuit breaker as well but here in low voltage uh, system majority of the breakers are cir air circuit breakers right then here you can see some of the control circuitries it will have some relays it will have some meters uh, MCBs and all and at the back side in the brown color what you can see is the bus bar now bus bar is really important in the low voltage switch gear there are multiple options available so there can be a horizontal bus bar a vertical bus bar this depends upon the site requirement so this is just an example of how the panel look like right and this low voltage uh, uh, switch boards are generally anything that is less than 1000 volt is categorized as low voltage plus the normal current is up to 7000 ampere which is huge when we compare it with the medium and high voltage uh, equipments which in which the current rating uh, generally lies between 4000 ampere or in some cases up to 5000 amperes not more than that but here it is up to 7000 ampere and if you look at the short time with current it can go up to 150 kilo ampere which is again huge now when you compare it with the high and extra high voltage where the stc is only limited to 63 kilo amperes mostly 
right so that is the uh, major difference that you will notice between medium voltage panels and the low voltage panel but there are breakers which are capable of handling 150 kilo ampere 120 kilo ampere 83 kilo ampere and uh, abnormal currents like that plus all these uh, panels are metal enclosed switch gear so what we have seen in the medium voltage uh, it is similar to that metal enclosed switch gear and the IEC base which gives the general guidelines for low voltage switch gear is IEC 61439-1 and these panels are mostly indoor panels and also one more thing to note here that in medium voltage we talked about different technologies like there was air insulated switch gear there was gas insulated switch gear and also there was solid insulated switch gear but here in the low voltage you will not find such bifurcations majority mostly all the switch gears are air insulated only because the voltage rating is very low you don't need to have dedicated insulating materials like what we have seen in the uh, gis technology and the solid insulated technology in the medium voltage right but the only portion uh, that is vital here in the low voltage switch gear is the bus bar so as you can see the current rating can go up to 7000 ampere normal current that is the current which will flow in the system normally so definitely there will be heating issues and a, a, a very focused area in low voltage switch gear because of this is the cooling methodology used. So you will see there are two uh, most commonly used cooling technologies one is the natural cooling so there will be arrangements provided uh, which will circulate the natural air through the panels so that the temperature remains within the limits or if that is not possible then uh, the arrangement is made for uh, artificial cooling that is with the help of fans because you can imagine if 7000 amperes is flowing continuously it's gonna give a lot of heats not only for the bus bar but also the complete panel so here you can see the uh, general compartments that are there in the low voltage switch gear so the first one you can see the control circuitry compartment which is this compartment here so this will have let's say switches some mcbs contactor relays so all the control circuitries will be placed here then there is a bus bar compartment which is this so once the cables are entered into the panel then you will have a bus bar running through all the panels so that is this bus bar compartment then there is an air circuit breaker compartment which is this where the circuit breakers will be placed then there is a cable compartment where the cables are incoming let's say there is a transformer and cable is incoming so that cable will be entered here and then there is a terminal block compartment which is this now let's say if you want to take some remote indications you can do the wiring here in this compartment in the terminal blocks and then take the signal at a remote location so this is just a general idea general overview of the low voltage switch gear panel now this arrangement may vary based on the scheme based on the uh, manufacturer as well so this is just an example for understanding purpose so i have this residential building wherein i am getting supply from the utility this is I have connected to this main incomer I can call it this as incomer right because this is where the incoming supply I am con connecting and from this let's say I am giving my supply to building 1 clear now I also have another building building 2 from here I will be taking uh, a feeder and connecting to a different panel here which is let's say is dedicated for supplying uh, the power to building 2 this is my feeder okay and let's say for each of the floor on the building i want to again have a dedicated switch gear so then that is also possible so this now this panel here will not have air circuit breaker and like that because that is not necessary here i can do my job using the mcbs and the regular contactors so the high rupture capacity air circuit breaker is not required here clear then one more thing that you will see most commonly in the low voltage switch gear is the motor control center or mcc so here is one example of that now let's say in my building there will be uh, some motors which are doing some necessary things for that i would need a dedicated control and that is also sometimes clubbed with the low voltage switch gear now this will not be categorized exactly as a switch gear you can say this as a control gear so what this will have this will have first the motor starter of course the motor need a starter so it's a dol starter will be placed here then there will be some mcbs that are necessary to control the short circuit currents there will be contactors some uh, indication system and all all these things will be placed inside this panel this is what we call as the mcc or motor control centers 
right these are there this will be responsible for controlling the motors that we have in the building so this image will give you a clear picture of uh, the low voltage switch gear i really like this image here so this is the incoming supply from the utility which you have connected to this switchboard now this switchboard you can call it as a incomer because this is where the incoming is getting connected right from here incoming uh, for the in this incomer there will be air circuit breakers uh, main circuit breaker that we have plus uh, there will be control circuitry relays ct vt and all the things that we talked about then just right to this you can see this is our feeder so this is we are using to feed two different loads so you can see one is going this by this feeder bus way and this is going to this panel board let's say this is my building b2 panel and from here i am connecting it to the transformer which is stepping it down to 120 volt ac and then this is entering into the different flats that i have in the buildings right or you can also see this feeder is also supplying power to this motor control center mcc so all the different motors that i have are getting controlled from this particular panel so this image will give you a clear idea about the uh, low voltage switch gear and also for more better clarity you can also have look at this single line diagram so here we have two transformer this is transformer one this is transformer two and they are giving supply here so this i can call it as incomer one this is my incomer two so two incomers i have from here i can connect these two incomers using this bus coupler so this is my circuit breaker and this is the bus coupler that i have let's say if this transformer fails then i can close this circuit breaker and then continue feeding this load using this particular transformer one clear so that is the uh, function of bus coupler and here i have feeders so this is my feeder one let's say and this is my feeder two so from here the supply may go to let's say building two or building three like that and also here i have control gears where the different motors let's say i'm controlling with the help of this uh, control gears and also additionally an inverter panel board is there so let's say if i have to manage the emergency power supply that can be done using this inverter panel boards right clear now i think this image will give you a better clarity on the low voltage switch gear so this is how the panels looks like uh, the in it will have incomer feeders bus couplers plus if motor control is there it will have uh, that as well so this is basically a system that you can see so everything that is marked with yellow line is indicates the low voltage switch gear here so let's say this is my main room wherein all the low voltage main panels are there incoming feeders and all and here from here i am giving supply to all the buildings that i have so this is basically a industry picture so here is supply here is one here is one then also there are some panel boards maybe motor controls giving supply to different motors so this is how the low voltage switch gear are placed so i hope this video has given you a basic idea a introduction about what is low voltage switch gear and why we need them if the video helped you then do comment helpful in the comment section below in that way i'll understand this type of content is helping you and definitely do and check it out a custom playlist on switch gear that i have created just for you if you are interested learning more on the switch gear link for it is provided down in the description so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next video but till then Keep watching, keep learning.